The following episode of the Carnival of Randomness is sponsored by an important message to you, the people from Upsitnik and Associates. Every day there are forces that are taking from you, stealing from you. Your money, your time, your freedom. Immense faceless corporations, banks, credit card companies, insurance providers, government agencies, this list goes on and on. When you are under attack and facing crisis, turn to us, Upsitnik and Associates, attorneys for you, the people. When every day becomes a battle, we can advise and assist. We have been advocates for 40 years. Email us through UpsitniksLaw.com or call us at 1-866-391-3299 or reach out to us through Upsitnik and Associates on Facebook for a prompt, no obligation, communication, and consultation. Don't be pushed around. Ladies and gentlemen, a message from the Carnival of Randomness. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the internet, Bauman's back. <laughs> Hello, how are you? And Dave's here too. Hello. Legal counsel is Legal here counsel and Bauman because you don't need to know. No. And we can really start intro. to show off know. really I well can't. too. We have to talk about it because... Wait, whole, we have to address the elephant in the, the room? Yeah. Hello, Hi, Jumbo. Hello, Jumbo. But the whole diocese thing, because this comes close to home with us. And I actually had a, you know, my good friend Sammy, you know Sammy. We found out our pastor's on the list, too. And I, he's like, oh, my God, I was an altar boy. And obviously we had this going on in high school. We knew what was going on then. Yeah. So I don't it's just, it's like he's totally disgusted. <laughs> Well, why wouldn't you be? Yeah. I mean, they took advantage of kids. I mean, this is pathetic. You know, I mean, I mean, the problem that I have is, A, it's the biggest corporation in the world. It, I mean, the amount of money they have is through the roof. And for an organization that's supposed to, supposed to base their, you know, life on the life of Jesus... Right, I could never understand why why the priest was driving around a Cadillac. I'm like, that makes no sense to me. I mean, you should be hitching rides. Yeah, for right? a, for a profession be... that's supposedly not getting a salary, right. only getting a living stipend. Right, but but then to, I mean to to take advantage of kids and then to brush it under the rug, <laughs> like that's the worst. I, just well, I just knew it because obviously Pathetic. we. Sort of had it in high school when we have one of the brothers pulling a gun on an 11 and 12 year old. I think I was a scumbag. <laughs> but I thought he was. The thing was, I thought about that the way he had a weirdness about him, but I couldn't put a finger on it. And well, then he put what? a finger on something. <laughs> else. Oh, there it is. I knew somebody was going to go for it. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> but I remember. That's good. <laughs> but I well remember played. that actually is one of my memories from high school that I still freak out about sometimes. He had that office down way in the corner there. He had me come down to his office at one time for no reason. It's like sort of weird. And I'm thinking, well, if he tried to do something. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, there, I, unlike a few people that we all went to high school with and can remember everybody's name, I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> There was this one brother or whatever uh, in between every class when kids were, you know, walking the halls, going from one class to another, he would stand outside of the office and it was the admin office. Um, And I don't know what it was with this guy, but... As I'm walking, and I'd be walking with like, you know, three or four girls and a couple buddies, and we'd be walking down the hall, and he'd be like, hi, Jeff. Wouldn't say hi to anybody else. He'd be, hi, Jeff. I'm like, what the fuck is this dude? Right? <laughs> Every fucking time. And I'm like, okay, note to self, avoid this guy, right? And lo and behold, when that when that one, the one guy... Uh, brother pulled the gun and then went into the paper and everything. Like that dude ended up going into the R wing or so. Like he well, lost his was, shit. Well, no, I remember this to this day. Okay, I heard stories about that guy that if you went in it was when he was an advisor and you wanted to change classes or something, you would say something weird. Somebody told me one time he he was a wrestler and he said, "You know, can I tie you up?" Oh man! And I've heard this about what happened was. 
I'm in English class, Sheldon's sitting next to me, and they announce on the PA that he's leaving, and Sheldon says something like, oh, I've got another perv. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, man. I mean, people like, oh, it's a shame Cardinal Mooney closed the, closed the door. Who's sending their kids there after that crap? I think Mike told me, I know Mike told me that he would have been gone if, I mean, if they took, would they take his sister out? I think no, when, I mean all three. It, he said they would have been gone all, all though. Three, all three Sheldon's graduated oh. from Mooney. I think Mark was the last yeah. class. I think his youngest was the last. The, the youngest was the last class. But but we were I mean, seniors. So. Who who in their right mind? I mean, who, like our enrollment went down. Really? Well, I guess wow. that's the question. Shocked by that, I guess that's the question. It's like who would continue to? You know, it was like uh, Ron White did a thing on the Michael Jackson thing. It's like, regardless if he did it, if he didn't do it, don't let your fucking kids go over to Michael Jackson's house. Oh God, yeah, I mean, <laughs> The man's got a Ferris wheel in his front yard. I couldn't, under, I couldn't understand that either. I mean, m- mom, dad, Michael Jackson wants me to come over and, and play at his house. Dude's like 35? Yeah. Really? What? Like, Where's the red flag there? Right. <laughs> I mean, seriously. We're like bulls. We charge head first in the red flags. Yeah, not only if it's not a red flag that some 35-year-old guy wants your kid to come over and sleep over, you know, to Zach's point, he's got a Ferris wheel in his yeah. front yard. Like, really? There's, there's a whole bunch of perverts sitting out there in hot vans with milk duds melting in their pockets going, if I only had a Ferris wheel. <laughs> I quote him because I think he's hilarious. Oh, oh my this is starting off well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Immediately off the rails. <laughs> You're going to hell. You'll see a bunch of your uh, former teachers there, it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> well, that got us just because, like, Sammy and I, we had that pastor, and we knew him, and his name was on this thing. And it's like, I can't even, I don't know anybody who's had any stories about him, but it's just like one of those things. Like, uh, what the There fuck? was a movie that came out. I'm trying to remember what the hell that movie was. It was based out of the Boston Diocese. Oh, gas Gaslighting. What was that? What yeah, was, it was the name of Freddie it, got yeah. fingered. <laughs> <laughs> but no, wasn't I mean, the, it, the the one with Michael Keaton in it? Yes. Oh, yes. Gaslighter. No, Gas it was Spotlight. 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 Yeah, Spotlight. Yeah, yeah, Spotlight. yeah, yeah, yeah. So really good movie. But then you you watch the movie, and at the end, they, cra- they start listing all the dioceses. And I'm sitting, I'm going, all right, let's see who's from Rochester. And I'm like, <laughs> sat through and watched to see, hey, do I know that guy? Like, yeah. was this guy at my church? Was that guy at Mooney? What? It's you know, the ch- I, look, the church has got a massive problem trying to, like, get out from under this Well, I don't think they crack. can at this point. Uh, no, I mean... Well, the problem is they could say, look, some people step through the cracks when they try to forget them. But they, they but admitted then, that they were, they they were harboring them, them yeah, in the they Vatican. Them. That's the thing. That's the difference. If they would say, okay, we found one of these out of here. Yeah, and then they just moved them well, to a different so parish. I think now what they do is they kick them out of the church and they get, you know, they go yeah. to jail and all that. But, but that should have happened before, Right. Man. It shouldn't happen now only because they were exposed. Yeah, it's, it's but I, I guess I'm kind of the oddity. All the when you know I'm a bit of a lapsed Catholic. Never had any issues like that when I with any of the priests I knew. They were all just genuine, decent human beings. Maybe they were the exceptions rather than the rule. Well, I yeah. don't think so. I nah, think, you know, that's a hell of a state. You know, yeah. and and that, but it's you only hear about that five percent, right? Well, that's with anything, though. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, it's like it's like a review, like if if. You go anywhere to get a review, the negative reviews come up first before right. anything positive. And, and to Dave's point, yeah, I mean, it, it probably is not every single priest no. out there. It's probably 5%. It might even be less than 5%. I, 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 I would say less. But. but but the fact that their PR department, oh, wait, we yeah. got a, we got a problem with this guy. All right, let's move him to another diocese. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh wait, let's, gotta, let's, let's he move did him it again. The... Let's move him to another one. I mean, come on. I was like, oh, let's move him to Nebraska. Is it? I think Kansas City or Missouri was like a big. Oh place. yeah, Kansas City. A lot, <laughs> a lot of like, them go there. Like, oh my God! Like, what? You're gonna put him out on a farm? Uh, yeah. I mean, come on. He went to a nice farm upstate, where all, <laughs> yeah. where all the Call priests Mooney. go to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love here. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, can we talk about the Mets? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? Sure is weather we're having. Yeah, I don't have a grade school or a high school. How about that local you know, sports team? So. You know what? I mean, we talk. You know, we t- we t- tend to talk about school and music and all this stuff every time we're here. But you know, I had, you know what? I, I you know, went to Mooney. I don't. I wouldn't say I loved it when I was there. I wouldn't say it was the greatest <laughs> thing ever. Um, but you know what? I met some really cool people. Yeah. 
I mean, got a good some, edu- education. I got a phenomenal education. I, I mean, a phenomenal education. I will give them credit for that. Met some really cool people. If I, you know, considering that the school pulled in kids from, you know, across Monroe County, you know, my center of influence kind of like got greater. Um, you know, you look back on that, and you're like, all right, that's pretty cool. Like, if I just would have went to, you know, I, you know, I went to Holmes Road and then, then Hoover Drive, and then I would have went to Olympia, it would have been the same kids. I mean, nothing wrong with that, but I think going to Mooney kind of just, you know, made me more well-rounded. I really think it did, other than the fact that, you know, I had to deal with some pedophiles that were, <laughs> you know, I have some trying fun. to figure you know out what, in how the to, end, how to In the end, I always the say, I look back at the positives and negatives, and I look back and say, and I have some good stories, and I have some good friends. Yeah. And I'm all right, you yeah. know, I'm not yeah. traumatized. And, and, and really, listen, at the end of the day, it's not like The Walking Dead where they were chasing you down the hallway right. and you were beating them up with a it is. It wasn't that prevalent. No, <laughs> well, and, no, and no, honestly, no. you know, regardless of, you know, Catholic or not, who really can say for 100% certainty they loved every minute of high school? Mm-hmm. Oh, without, yeah. Like, well, I, went, I, said, I went to public school in Pittsburgh, and it's like, yeah, there I'm were the some one, good moments, but, eh. I'm the one, like I said, I went back to parent-teacher night when I was in college and told a couple of teachers to piss off just because I had it out because I really didn't <laughs> like it. But I look back, you know, what an ass I was. Why did I do that? Yeah, but, but you know what, though? Um... I would have loved to do that, specifically one teacher. There's a couple because I thought they really treated people unfairly, yeah. and they treated me unfairly, and I just was like, hey, you know what I'm doing now? Piss off. But to Zach's point, you would have got that in a public school, too. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So right. it doesn't matter if you go to public school, private school, Catholic school. Plus, we got to wear those neat uniforms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember, like, freshman year, we everybody was smoking ties? Did you ever do that? I what? smoked some stuff, but it wasn't a tie. <laughs> I go around and say, what, you, did you run yeah, out you of paper? Squeeze, you go pull them. Oh. oh. We used to call it smoke. Oh, go, grab somebody's tie and just yeah. yank it down oh. and they have a knot. Yeah. And you got to try to figure out how to get but I love, What I love, though, too, is because I had to go to Gate Charlie. I took the bus to Gate Charlie. So I'm wearing my uniform. <laughs> oh, you had to, like. The, we had to take you, the bus, go all the way to Gate Charlie, catch a bus from there. So after oh. a while, I'm like, Mom, you're driving me. Do I get my license? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I'm all I dressed in the uniform and everything. I didn't have to deal with any. I mean, we had we had our own like bus route. Like I didn't have to go to Olympia or Athena or Katie or something to get another bus and then go to Mooney. I didn't. Have to, That's so, one thing to jump on a little. Yeah, bit. I probably would have bailed if that if I had to. Do <laughs> I told that. I told my mother. I just said, "You're driving me. I get a license. I can't do this." Yeah. I had all my friends because everybody on my street went to Gates. We had to walk three blocks up to get the bus. Yeah, and I'm always my freaking dress clothes. You're all just they're looking weird, looking like I should be carrying a Bible. Do you believe in this? <laughs> Do you have a moment to talk about but our Lord and Savior Cthulhu? That's one thing Cthulhu? I was going to talk about, that schools now and then again. I mean, they seem like there's so many different problems these days schools face. Um, yeah, but I think a lot of it is just, I mean, I think it's different. It's, And I've said this multiple times being here. I think social media is just created this Monsters. environment that it's way too easy to... Offend somebody, get get offended, um, bully, be. It's just. It. I mean, it. I, I, look, I look at my young, so my youngest is a senior in high school, and I'm and I see some of the stuff like kids that he knows and friends that he like the the stuff that like when they were younger and then not what they're dealing with now and I'm just like, man, thank God. Kids weren't walking around with camera phones well, I, when we were in school, dude. It well, would have been. I'd st- I think I'd still be locked up. <laughs> I, 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 I would have never got into college. Never. Oh, I, got, I, got out of, I got out of high school in 2000, so I was like kind of the tail end of the old way before everything went wonky. I remember if anybody ever showed up with a cell phone, oh, the ridicule. Oh, look at Mr. Important. Can't be too far away from the phone. Too good to use the pay phone, Mr. Important. Not these days. Now, if you don't have a cell phone, you're looked at like a Neanderthal. Like, well, you can't afford a pay phone. You can't afford a cell phone. Yeah, but no. It's like, you know, bum a quarter, use the pay phone, or the old trick, you know, call collect. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. just like, it's your son, pick me up at 7 You know that's, that's actually a good thing you said though Seems these days everybody's offended at everything And I just still it's like 
Don't get it. <laughs> Don't you believe, and somebody said this, the only people that are offended are those looking to be offended? Oh, absolutely. That's a good point. You know, yeah. because I we all see stuff on a, any given day that, you know, it's like, it could be offensive, but like, eh. That's usually the funniest stuff, though. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's... I don't know, man. Just people have lost their sense of humor. or mm. I don't know what it is. It's like, I mean, I think there's a time and a place for certain things. And I do think there are certain things that's like, dude, that's just not cool. You don't go down that path, right? Mm. Um, but some people just need to, like, wake up, like, chill out, man. Just just relax. Yeah, every, every day you hear of another case of somebody being up over something beyond stupid no, it's it's, it's, it's yeah. staggering. Well, that is. I mean, I will say that is one of the cool things about the internet, though, right? You you, you get to see <laughs> stupid people do stu- stupid yeah, shit. And right. You get to it's, laugh at them. Well, there's <laughs> actually. I Thank saw you, one. YouTube. I, I saw used one. to have you used to have this this show, what America's Funniest Home Video. Oh Dude, yeah. Now you just go to YouTube. Yeah. Right? <laughs> YouTube. Stupid shit done by stupid people. Yeah. And all of a sudden you get twenty five right. million views. Well, videos. I saw the one you actually put up on your Facebook, Dave, about the vegetarian. Who wants is like make the stink about somebody cooking meat so they had a barbecue? Holy in the shit! Oh, yeah. that Australia thing. That was hysterical. What was it? That's what was it? So in Australia, this vegetarian complained to the local government because her neighbors would grill out on the weekends, and the smell was so offensive to her she couldn't enjoy. The, her quality of life was so affected by this that she couldn't go outside. She couldn't. She couldn't enjoy her property, and she sued them to try and get them to stop grilling. So the community heard about this, yeah. and they they staged this huge, massive cookout in front of her house, <laughs> which hilarious. is awesome. That's to be hilarious. fair, if you live in Australia. It's dangerous to go outside. <laughs> yeah, they got spiders. They have spiders with life sides. bars from video games. That's how bad they are. <laughs> it's like the most poisonous animal. But, but the thing is, I gotta admit, like when you read stuff like that, you start reading and going, "This is bullshit." There's no this, way it's there's real. No yeah. way. Yeah. But it, somebody's that big of a tool. And yet, I mean, there's no way. Well, well, that's like the one I put up and you said this has to be bullshit. And as far as I looked, I think it wasn't, which is scary. No, it was I a legit was, thing. It was one of them I put up that oh. was like it had to be BS. But, 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 but it's, but like. You, but even you, this week, you had that lady who walked into the lion enclosure for. Oh, dude. For what? <laughs> because In the Bronx because she get, was. High as fuck. Exactly. <laughs> There's so, no so in that way. This looks like a great idea. So, wait, so did the lions get high then after they ate her? <laughs> no, she got out. Guy, oh, got video. She goes in there. There's a moat. She's like, hey, doing some stupid dance. And the best part, pe- people are videoing it. Yeah, like, video, like yeah. hey, let's video. Oh, dude, you well, know, wouldn't this you? Is, d- Probably, probably. I mean, yeah, but I mean, to but instead honest, of calling the, the, the security, <laughs> let's videotape this. Because if she gets eaten... Oh my God! This is gonna go viral. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be great. And you know that lion's just sitting there going, "What the fuck?" No, the lion's sitting there's like, "Oh Christ, another one." <laughs> but it's like, "Yeah, that's real good." Let's walk into an enclosure, which by definition is enclosed, with one of the world's most dangerous animals. I'm gonna pick the yeah, kitty. But, I'm but, gonna pick the but, kitty. But let's take this a step further. Let's say something actually happened. Right? Oh, then they'd sue the, the, no sue the zoo, they'd kill sue the lions. The zoo. Really? You're the fucking moron that jumped <laughs> exactly. over the fence. Like, really? We, we, what, we're going to put signs, do not do drugs at the yeah. zoo. Yeah. Don't yeah. torque do, in front of the lion. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, do not enter lion. Like, the shit that people sue for is like but, crazy. Actually, on that, we've all gone places and seen signs. You know, do yeah. not do this, do not do that. Makes you wonder. Who was the person that's the reason for that sign? Because <laughs> right, yeah. case in point, back in 1997, when I was in the Boy Scouts, we went to Philmont out in New Mexico. But before that, we did a week and a half of just touring around Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas. We went to Holloman Air Force Base. And as we're entering the base, the main the road in crosses several runways. Oh, God. <laughs> there was, I shit you not, literally a sign that said, Yield to Oncoming Aircraft. I don't need a goddamn sign to tell me that, that if I look to my right and I see a fighter jet screaming at me, I'm going to stop and probably back up in a hurry. All right, I'm going to play devil's advocate to this one. Uh Uh-oh. No, no. I mean, I'm having a hard time doing it, but I'm going to. I'm going to give it a shot. (laughs) Um, You said it was in New Mexico, right? Yes. Okay. 
so probably really flat. I'm sh- I'm sure there are people that just drive and you know their eyes are scanning left and right and not thinking, hey, maybe I need to look up a bit. Well, no, because it's a fucking runway. <laughs> yeah, no, and like like a takeoff runway, like they're coming on the ground. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah, I mean, if they're, coming, like, if they're coming at you, yeah, you can definitely see it. Whereas one of my oh, favorites, I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. One of my Those favorites, this is I a different this. one, is if you go down to Erie, you go by that prison, there's a sign. Oh, Jesus, yeah. There's a sign. I just laugh every time yeah. I see it. A prison, do not pick up hitchhikers. Yeah, yeah. it's on 90. If you go, I think it's out past, um, it's around, right around exit 59, it starts. There's that prison, and all the sewer grates have those big iron. Iron cages over them. Yeah, but the but, yeah, it's a but, d- prison area. Do not pick up hitchhikers. But the reason for that sign for you know look out for airplanes. That's for the same people when the gates come down at a at a train track. Go around. They oh, go around yeah, it. It's exactly. for those same idiots. Hey, I've Jim Bob, we can but I, had the, the plane. I had the obvious one the other day. I got some peanut butter at Ollie's, which is cool. But I'm just, it, I'm just peanuts. looking at. I'm just looking at. It says it contains peanuts. Say. It's like, no, shit. <laughs> well, I like it. I've seen it when, you know, people take it to an extreme. Like, you know, because you always see products that you know don't have gluten in it, but they say, gluten-free. So I saw, I can't remember where I was, but there was a store right on the toilet paper. They put up a sign, gluten-free. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Thank you. Thank you for making a mockery out of this because it needs to happen. Well, yeah. Or the I, pumpkin I, spice motor oil that we saw on that. A- on that garage. I mean, I don't, I'm like, as much as, you know, I would love to think that that was a joke and making a mockery. Oh, no, I asked the guy. He said, yeah, we did. Oh, the pumpkin spice was a joke. That's a joke. Okay, because there's part of me the way way everything is. Like, nope, that's the New York State Health Department. We we need to put that in there. Yeah. The air is now gluten-free. That's just kind of where where we've gotten to, which is. It's one size fits all bureaucracy. That's the problem is a lot of it. They don't, because I know going through what I've done with my dad in terms of the system, how they don't consume for individuals. But I was going to ask a question. Amidst all this clutter, information, how do we actually get the truth or something close to the truth of what's going on with everything, all the hot air out there, all the distractions? I mean, you look at a, I, I'll, there's a story I'll tell from many years ago where I, I, did, I used to do a charity event every year and they would have an auction and they usually brought a politician, and it was non political, really, but they would bring somebody in, they have the dinner. So, anyways, there's a politician there, and, and I, the media was there, and he'd give a speech. And I read the account of it, and I'm going, this didn't happen. This is completely wrong. I was there. Everything they say, they didn't even, seems like they weren't even there. Well, yeah, because they, they push an agenda. Yeah. Well, this was this was a case that they made sort of fun of his thing. And they said, "Well, he didn't offer any solutions." Um, if you listen to the speech, he gave five points on it, and I'm just looking, going, "This is I'll never trust the media again because I was actually here. I saw this, and it was completely." You know. Yeah, to me, um, if it's not on Facebook, it's not true. <laughs> no, well, no, I, I, mean, I believe it was Lincoln that said well, the stuff uh, you I can't read about my dad's you true. Believe, read on the internet. <laughs> The internet told me that. No, I, th- I think, look, do, do your due diligence, right? If you read something and you think, wow, you know, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening or whatever, investigate it. Look, you know, don't just take that one source as try to fact. Find, yeah. Like, you know, try to debunk it. Oh, and don't just go to Snoops to see, you oh. know, if, if, yeah, if that's, like, do your homework. I mean, there's a reason why, you know, I have, me personally... I have Sirius XM in my car, and I have MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, and NPR. And I listen to all of them. I laugh at all of them, <laughs> but I listen to all of them, right? Because I want, I want competing views on topics. Well, I'll give a, another t- – if anybody remembers the Kaylee Poulton case from years ago, this was a little girl who got abducted, and the media got it completely wrong. There were cases, I remember going to my comic book store, and he had a brown van. There was a case of a guy took her in a maroon van. Somebody came in and harassed him. Where were you? And it turned out he was he was never abducted. It was like her brother or a relative who killed her. It was but a neighbor. The neighbor? It was a, yeah, it Okay, because it was a long time ago. But they got everything wrong. <laughs> yeah, but I think when kids are involved, emotions get really high, and, and assumptions are made. I think assumptions are made. Yeah, in a lot of situations, you could but. be dri- you could have been driving down that street, and they would have said, you know, whatever yeah. car you drive. Yeah, just- but just in terms of so many stories I see, and they just get them wrong. And I think now they don't. The whole thing was about Walter Cronkite with the moose. Say that. Well, the, what I've heard, and maybe maybe I'm wrong, but it's one of those things I heard is that 
you know, everybody knows Walter Cronkite was the one that broke the news to the nation about President Kennedy getting shot. The story I heard was he almost didn't because he was waiting for verifiable sources to confirm it. Right. Because that's, that's he, true. that was Walter Cronkite's MO. He did not report news until he had three sources that he trusted confirm it for him. Yeah, that's a, that's a true story. Yeah. Okay, I, I is know it that true? for a fact. Yeah, and, I've read that multiple times. Yeah, that's what I mean. And today, those three sources would be Facebook, Curly, Larry, Facebook <laughs> Snapshot, and Instagram. Well, I mean, Slapshot? <laughs> that's a great movie. If the Hanson <laughs> brothers say it, God damn it, it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, you just look at what's going on with Trump today. Somebody heard something from somebody else, and all of a sudden... Like, that's what it is. With all the media outlet, you know, you know, what's true? Third hand we don't know. Third-hand like, information We're is, third-hand confused. But, 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 but that one, okay, the, whistlebl- the whistleblower was, in essence, hearsay. But then they went and released. But he liked garbage the, plates. Right. But then they went, yeah. But then <laughs> yeah. they went in, no, the attorney. I think the attorney's the one that was. Oh, because I saw that. It's like, who gives a frick? Yeah. <laughs> like, the attorney for the whistleblower went to U of R. Like, loves so, loves tra- uh, garbage plates. Whoop de doo. Wow. That's, that's, that's news in Rochester. Yeah, my plumber likes garbage um, plates. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm but, sure but, half the homeless people would love a garbage plate if so, you gave it to them. So it was hearsay, but then the White House releases notes of the call. And he actually asked, "Hey, can can you look into this?" So while part of it, the, the initial complaint was hearsay, then the White House went and released their notes, and he actually asked the 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 new president for the Ukraine, "Hey, can you look into this?" Right, but the complaint was he pressured him to right. look into it no, and no, no. say, "I'm not releasing this military aid unless you look into this." And no, that no. never happened. No, yeah. no, I get I get that part of it. Yes, that didn't happen. Um and but I don't I don't even think a president like really? Like you got to Hey, can you look into this for me? I, like what's the point? Like like you were just investigated for 2 years because you were collu- supposedly supposedly colluding with Russia, and now you're on a call with right. another world leader. Hey, can you look into this for me? Like seriously, like you have a shitty haircut, you can't. <laughs> you, you 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 you're you're so thin skinned. It's not even funny. Um, anybody says anything about you, and it's bully, 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 bully. And by the way, love his love his policies. Um, I really like what he's trying to do as far as holding China accountable, getting the tariffs corrected. I mean, he's actually... But they put a the, tariff on scotch. The sons of <laughs> <bitches>. I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, yeah, Dave, I have to the U.S. we get whiskey. Well, I, I, yeah, exactly. Listen, you should have stocked up before. I, I mean, that's the one thing I have to disagree with. You know what? I have to disagree with. We'll go to the Japanese. They do the scotch guy, better than the scotch now. I mean, what, what, whether you like the guy... Look, I think the guy's an ass. I think he's an actual asshole. I think his ego is through the fucking roof. If he would just stop with Twitter and just be a president that, and keep doing his policies, he'd be great. Right. But he keeps putting his fucking foot in his well, mouth. I think partly he comes from a tr- different world. That's the thing he's used to probably, you do this, you well, do it's, this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everything he owns has his name yeah. on it. I mean, his brand is him. His brand is his hair. I get I get all of that. And, and there's part of me, like... Two days ago, I'm driving home. I get in the car. I'm getting ready to drive home from work, and my phone rings. And it's one of those numbers I don't know, but for some reason I answer it, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So I answer the phone, and it's a, a political survey. And I'm like, well, well, no. I'm like, I'm driving home. What yeah, you got fuck? nothing I, else I'm to like, do. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. What the hell? I got no problems. And, I, and, I, and by the way, I also realized the guy on the other end of the line, shitty job, Everybody's hanging up on him. Yeah. He like I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Fine, I'll do it. So it was, do you know who Chris Collins is? Yes, I do. Okay, great. I'm going to name some um, people and let me know if you know him or you don't know him. So he starts naming some people. I said, nope, don't know him. Okay. No, yeah, I heard that name. Don't know this one. Okay, so on and so forth. And then it, the questions start going to, if this person is a Republican and runs against a Democrat, who would you vote for? I'm like, the Republican. Would you 
kind of vote for him or definitely? I go definitely vote. How for How do you him. kind of vote for someone? Uh, well, like would you? Oh, lean? would you be on the fence? Right, right, right. I wouldn't be able to vote for him if he's not in your district. So, <laughs> so, so I go, I go. No, I would definitely vote for him. So, okay, let's talk about the next person. If that person, that person's a Republican, would that person, if they're running as a against a Democrat, I go the Republican. I go, I'm done with Democrats. They have gone off the rails. And I start going off on the guy, you know, just going off on the phone, whatever. We, we, he goes, okay. Now, if Trump uh, ends up having to go against Biden, who would you vote for? Lee I- Oh, and before, before he said that, he goes, um, do you have a favorable, favorable view or an unfavorable view of Trump? I'm going, well, that's kind of a tough question. Yeah. He's like, well, what do you mean? I, I'm like... From a policies, I got I have a favorable perception so, of him. On a personal from standpoint. a personal level, right. unfavorable. I think he's an asshole. And so they go. I go. But considering this is about politics, I go favorable. Would you say somewhat favorable or really? I'm like somewhat favorable. Then it comes down to, okay, he's running against Biden. Who would you vote for? I go Trump. Did you vote for Trump the last election? I'm like, no, I didn't. Oh, you voted for Clinton? Nope, didn't vote for her either. <laughs> yeah. But it's 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 like I hate to say this, the lesser of two evils. And if John John was here, he'd be telling a libertar- libertarian go down and and yeah, um, if they could get somebody that wasn't a whack job. Oh yeah. God, yeah, that boy, I mean, that they, guy really went off the rails, they just, didn't he? They just yeah. get people like yeah, just get there should be three parties, but yeah, get some people that. Just have some we'll have a big sense. thing with John about the Libertarian Party sometime and about that. That's when you problem. walk into that voting booth. Remember, you're presented with two bowls of shit, and the only difference is the smell. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's. How could you, in your right mind, sit there and say that? I, I guess let me preface this by saying that I think Trump actually cares about America. I think he he wants what's best for the American people, and. That upsets the Democrats, and I—I I, I will agree with that. I will agree. Yeah, I think what he's trying to do is. Well, actually, right I like this thing about globalization. Actually, where we, I thought that speech, no, about non-globalization. I thought that was good. But I, I think the Democrats have just gone so far off the rails as far as the socialism. And it, I, I read something yesterday, and it, where they, my favorite politician from New York City, AOC. <laughs> I, know, I know exactly where you're going. Dun, oh, dun, my God. Dun. She wants to give afford- or welfare to illegals. She came up with this five-point plan, and nothing makes sense. Rate, rate, rent, um, rent, con- rent control across for the, the nation. For the nation. Well, yeah. what gets me with her is I look and go, we give power to people like this. But somebody did. This is yeah. embarrassing. 16,000 people. She got but elected because 16,000 I will see voted. her. John said the same thing where I'll see her. I'll send you a picture later on. You'll like, you'll get a kick out of it. I don't know. But John said he'll watch some of her things and it'll give him a headache. It's so stupid. But, but look, as as much as we all think she's a joke. Well, I, I'm, I'm never in her district either. What's that story? I, I, you I, have? Think, I think she's a joke. I think but I will give her. She's very passionate about what she believes in. Oh no, she's she's got charisma out the ass. She, no doubt. She had an idea. She acted on it. She ran. She got elected. You gotta you gotta admire that, right? Mm, absolutely. You have to admire it. And she is going to make a shit ton of money. That's the big thing. Because she's not going to be in office for <laughs> next. The oh ne- no, next she's already one, right? she's, she's already inked that huge book deal. She is she? going to make a shit ton of money. Let's see if she gives it away to people. Talking nonsense. Yeah, basically yeah, for business. And, 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 yeah, and go she give gives it, it all away to go people. Give, go go, go, ado- go get... adopt, you know, uh, five families from Guatemala. And the other funny and part about that is, I guess, Zach's everything. told me this. She's well, never heard, in her district. I, I've heard they can't that get a hold no. of her. People are lined up she outside her office. She doesn't even live in her district. No, the people are lined up outside her office and have never seen her there. No, like, did, they, she spent what sixteen days in her district since. Yeah, she's, because she's always down at um, in Texas yelling about something that she the knows cameras. how to use in the media. Just kisses her but, ass. So but here's nice. my but, question: in social, because of socialism, why is it legal in San Francisco for a human being to shit on the sidewalk, but it's a three hundred fifty dollar fine if your dog does it? 
I'm not making that up. That is a legitimate true story. They have decriminalized homeless people shitting on the sidewalk in San Francisco. And in fact, they actually have a human shit cleanup team. Six people. Yeah. There's an app to yeah. tell you where the human shit is to avoid yeah. it. I mean, And so here, here's my question. Why would I want to go to California? Well, the weather's great. It's not worth stepping in human shit. I, I get it, but okay, if you're going to be homeless. Oh, no, that's the thing. If you're going to be homeless, that's the place to go. Yeah. You don't want to be homeless here. Free. I'd rather go to South Florida myself. Yeah. Well, yeah, you'd fit right in with all them fucking weirdos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, Flo- oh, if this, we got, Listen, if, if you know something fucked up happens in the, and in the country, read about Florida, it, Florida man. Well, it always <laughs> starts with a Florida man. Break Florida off into the ocean. What's the weirdest thing you've seen down there? 85% of weird crimes like one of the weirdest away. things. Oh, God, I've seen so much shit. <laughs> the, one of the funniest things I ever saw was down in down in the Keys, in Key West, there's a place called Mallory Square where everybody goes to watch the sunset every night. It's beautiful, beautiful place, and it's it's like the carnival every night. But I saw this guy, and I'm going back many years, was dressed up like a lion tamer. And he had, you know, this thing set up with the little pedestals, and it was kittens, cats jumping through rings of fire and he had a little whip and was dry. it was just hysterical but they have the guy who's painted up in gold like a statue and he'll stand there and you get your yeah. picture taken but at least move. that's semi normal i'm huh. talking like you know drunk man loses fight to alligator on main street uh, you, like come on man you never see stuff like i mean it no. happens but you actually never see it but like i saw a homeless guy dressed up as santa claus Many years ago, another and just drunk out of his mind. It was the best Christmas Eve I think I've ever had. <laughs> just watching this guy go from bar to bar, people were just buying him drink. It was so fun. I mean, that's so, a hell of a racket. Have you guys been to Vegas? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you been to Fremont Street? Oh yeah, that's where that's where we yeah. stay when we go down there. Okay. That talk about like Ooh, old talk Vegas. about shit. Talk about a menagerie. <laughs> oh my god! And the best part the best part about it. You want to see some really fucked up people. Fremont go, Street. Go to Fremont Street. And not and just, just sit there and watch. You can walk up and down and see the freaks as well, but you could sit and just... But they come to you. But, but the, well, here's, here's the thing with Fremont Street. So there's sections of the street. It's like a, let's say, four by four square that people pay to rent that square and do their street performing. Whatever that performance could be. It could be some dude dressed up as Paul Stanley in a thong just standing there so you can get a picture yeah, taken. Yeah, by the way, like, that like, guy's still there. Oh, yeah, well, oh, he's the, there. The, the you ever see the there? guy with the thong with the beaver tail sticking out on Monroe Avenue? I have not Who's seen singing that. the Who songs? <laughs> I have not, thank okay, God. Okay, I seen him I when I was going one. to actually... But <laughs> people pay money to rent that spot so they could be a freak... For people to give them money, <laughs> yeah. but you know, hey, it's got to be profitable because they keep they doing keep it. Coming uh, back. You guys they, know about that. I go every year. Back. I see the same people every year. But but you so you can go and check out those people, or you can just kind of stand to the side and watch the freaks just walking by, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're like, you want a public service announcement? On why not to do drugs or why not Fremont to drink, Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, or why not to do drugs and drink? Just videotape Fremont Street. Just awesome. like why is meth bad? <laughs> Bonk, and just video it. Yeah, you know, like oh my. Well, God. this next thing might get us this pulled from the air if Dave disagrees. But I was going through some of my stuff. I found some old pictures of Gothic Toad from oh your, my God. From, from Rob's house and from the lodge. Those have not been officially cleared. To oh, be so we can even have this episode on? Yeah. You can have them because I had extras. <laughs> oh boy, he's got copies. You know what that yeah. means? Where's the fucking Inquirer? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you're right now. I've had, on a Sunday now, aren't you? I've had million dollar offers so far. Call the Weekly World <laughs> News. Put it underneath Bat Boy. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to work on a Sunday now. Oh. My God. <laughs> oh, you people at home, I bet you wish you could see these. Uh, no, I think Dave's already got the injunction going. Oh, yeah, that's why I say wish. Yeah, I'm oh. going to go home and work on these right away. I forgot about how absolutely awesome that leisure suit that Ron <laughs> Stein wore. <laughs> the leisure suit from Ron Stein. That is awesome. Is that's the from best. the Lodge and it's from Rob's yeah. house. Yeah. That's from Rob's house. Yeah, that's Rob's house. I think we played Breaking the Chains and 
rock and roll that one. I've been doing a bunch Look of things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> those should be outlawed. Those like, may be the shortest shorts Michelle, I've ever seen outside of a those. track runner. 50, <laughs> 50, 50 states not. in the Oh my god, look at those pants. <laughs> that is awesome. He was ahead of his time, man. That is awesome. He was ahead of his time. All right, and now for our listeners out there who want to experience something like this, yeah, uh, go find pictures on radio, don't really. Yeah, work well, well, no, no, no. Go go ask if you're if you're of the younger persuasion, go ask your parents for some old pictures. You'd ask them for your pictures of your grandfather. Yeah, <laughs> pictures of your grandfather. Mickey Mouse button he's got on too, I think. Dude, that is it that could is be awesome. That is so awesome. Those it's those like, should actually find their way to the internet. Like pictures they, like, they, actually, so they actually pictures might. like well, these. The original I got some more I got to dig out too. I think, but I, I've had offers, but I know Dave will just slap me with an injunction if I try to sell them. So, <laughs> yeah, no, I think these need to be officially released on the official Gothic Toad Facebook page, which nobody knows about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. That's so that cool. Is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got these, man. That's that's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you know what? We might. They gotta find. We them. might actually loosen up the. I think the, we need an official. Yeah, release we might of actually this. do the official release. Well, and I and, and now, get these out there. actually speaking of the pictures, that brings me to something else. You can't do that with pictures anymore. Now you just swipe your phone. And I was watching some um, movie that had Ed Harris in it, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was about the guy who was on a quest to get the last pack of some old-time film developed before the process was canned. And they were talking, like, well, why do you still use film? He said, because pictures today don't exist. They're literal electronic dust. If you dig us up in 100 years, there's not going to be any record we were ever here. Actually, film is making a comeback. Yeah, it, but it's like, damn, that actually is true. I because that, but yeah, man. That's it's like, cool. you know, there aren't, you don't see many... Physical pictures anymore. Now it's just on the phone wait, and in so the you, cloud. So, wait, so you're telling me I can go absolutely nuts and there will be no proof at some point? Essentially, <laughs> all, right, all yeah, electronic yeah. devices will die. Got a whole and, new game going on. Yeah, now. all <laughs> electronic devices will die and all the pictures will go with them. The cloud will go away one day. It's just things come around. Like it's weird how they come around. And yeah, I don't around. think Ron Stein's leisure shoots coming back around. <laughs> but, I think it should. But no, actually, you never know. on that. Why the hell, I'm addressing this to some celebrities, why the hell are mom jeans popular? The high-waisted, baggy pants jeans that everybody used to make fun of their moms wearing in the 80s, now why are the Kardashians wearing them? I I, I don't know, but the one that really... I don't, I don't, I'm like torn on this new trend. Celebrities wearing... Like thrash metal band T-shirts. Oh, yeah, the ones they paid nine hundred dollars for at Louis Vuitton. Like, I actually saw so- something popped up on Facebook or whatever. It was uh, like some reality TV person was being interviewed and had a Metallica T-shirt on, and people got to call in. And this person called in and said, "I want to know if she can name one song by the band on her shirt." <laughs> And she couldn't do it. Yeah, there's a shock. She couldn't do it. So then her whole thing was, it's just a really cool shirt. Uh-huh. But but there's part of me that says, you know, if I'm the band, I'm like, dude, that's free publicity. Yeah, exactly. That's like, free publicity. Dude, like, you like, paid to. Yeah, like, go for it. Wear my shirt, man. It's like More you paid to somebody it. to be a walking billboard for us. Yeah. That's awesome. Plus, they're getting a cut off the T-shirt yeah, sales. Exactly. So. Right. Yeah, so, like, take it both ways, but whatever. Or the Super Bowl. Uh, I want to yeah. see... Oh, my God, the music selection on the Super Bowl. Oh, oh my I God, know. I saw the so halftime show. And it made me think back to the days of the first AFL-NFL championship because it wasn't Super Bowl one back then. When the halftime show was the Battle of the Bands, who was it? It was Grambling and... Southern? No, I think it was like Arizona, like University of Arizona. You know what? There's the Battle of the Marching Bands. That would be cool if they did that well, again. Like I, I the get, Ohio get, State Marching yeah, Band. Yeah, have and, you ever like, seen the, the USC? Yeah. The Trojan. When I was back in Pittsburgh over Christmas, I'm watching. I bet you more people would watch. Yeah. That. Oh hell yeah! I'm watching some of the historically black colleges playing each other. I think it was, um, I think it was Houston versus Southern or, or Southern or something like that. The halftime show. This was just a game. This wasn't a bowl game. Oh my God! The Whoa. bands were incredible. There are some schools where it's not about the football. Oh it's no, about the football the band. Yeah, the football is just it's, yeah. The football is a warm up for the marching for band. for the marching band. Like the band, like that's the deal. But that would be like 
Who wouldn't that, want to see that? Yeah, why? Like the NFL should do that. Like I, get get two schools to come out and one do one yeah. there and then the like, other I one do see, theirs. I want to see or just you know, one school. Like you know, or get schools from whatever the cities or the states that the the teams in the Super Bowl are playing. So that's a good idea. You know, yeah. so if it's like Seattle versus. I don't know. Uh, you new, get the you University get, of Washington. Yeah, you get University down. of Washington and like Boston College if it's New England. That or, or get or some Boston University. Dude, or man, that would be cool. Get the high school bands. Yeah, just something like give these kids something, man. Like uh, it's it, one of the you're talking about half the halftime show. I forgot who it was that said this this week. It said, you know, you've got during the games. What do they play when they come out? Hard rock. Hard rock. Yeah, and, and then. then who do they play at halftime? Hard Rock. Exactly. And now for the halftime of the Super Bowl, who do they who do they have? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so it was D. Snyder. That's that's exactly yeah, yeah. all right. But I, but but then but then somebody actually gave a reason why, and it made a ton of sense. the 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 musical acts that they have on the Super Bowl, they're all lip sync. It's mm. all no, plugged yeah. in, lip synced, and Metallica. They're not going to lip sync. Yeah. No. Right, like the, I heard the, you guys got an offer one year to do it, and you wouldn't do it. No, no, it's too We're, small. I've yeah. been to two Super Bowls. The first halftime show I saw it was uh, the Stones. I remember that. Yeah, that was Super Bowl Forty in Detroit. I was there, and then I went to the one where the Steelers lost to Green Bay, and the <laughs> halftime show was um, Jeff. <laughs> hold on, that. But I will give gr- the Packers fans credit. Coming out of that stadium, we're like, yeah. You you guys lost that game. We didn't win that game. But in any event, they were coming back. Yeah, the halftime show there was, oh, I think it was the Black Eyed Peas with Slash. I don't remember that one. I was there and I don't fucking remember it. Well, that was it good. was that, that was good um, time. it was that it was that. Uh, but I like the Black Eyed Peas. I mean, I uh, I like Black Eyed Peas too. I, you, you know, know but, I, but I think the whole like lip syncing thing. That's why. Right, which which when I read that, I'm like, all right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, plus but I they, love the idea about a march, getting yeah. college marching band. Dude, <coughs> like I, I, we should start some. And I'm sorry, but for the first yeah. for, for that, the first ten or twelve for the first ten or twelve Super Bowls, that's what the halftime show was. It was marching bands. So you're pay, so these artists are getting paid no a shit ton of money. No, no Super Bowl halftime act gets paid. No, I think they get paid. No, they actually don't. The NF- Only one time when Michael Jackson did it, the NFL made a donation to the Save the World Foundation or whatever his oh, charity, or right. Change the World. But no, Super Bowl halftime shows don't get paid. In fact, the NFL took flack because they want the artists to pay them well, for the, the exposure. You know, eh, well, hey, if you can get away with it. Yeah, right? but, I mean, you know, but now they don't. But that's the weirdest thing. They get no money from it, and yet they're lined up because they know what it is. It is the biggest sporting event in the country. Nobody touches the I Super Bowl. I thought Bowl. WrestleMania was. Well, it was for a time, and then people started realizing that there's there's equal amounts of drama in the NFL. Thank you, Antonio Brown. <laughs> you have made... What the fuck? You have made my 2019... Well, let's wrap it up yeah, with... Yeah, we'll uh, go on Antonio Brown well, next time. I was going to say, we're going to continue on, and thankfully, for, with expatriates wide receiver Antonio Brown... <laughs> The stench has been removed from Pittsburgh. <laughs> no, every article I've seen now, ex-Patriots wide receiver, ex-Pats receiver. Like, what was that joke you have to tell one Antonio him. Brown joke? Oh, I got one. The, oh. the, don- the blood donor. Oh, yeah. It's like what, you know, you know, uh, Pittsburgh, Oakland, and New England all have the same blood type. AB negative. And on that one, <laughs> we'll see you all later. <laughs> anything you, anybody <laughs> have anything you want to plug yeah. or anything? Anything you want to throw nah, out for good. the last second? No. After good. we talked okay. about yeah, what are, what, it, my who, friend, what uh, my, poor my friend, bastard it's is getting coming, the music it's on coming. This one. Uh, my friend Katie Preston, who's great, and she plays all kinds of styles. She's wonderful, and they, they, she's out a lot here. But she did one song, and it's coming in Rochester, so I thought we'd have it. It's called "Okay, It's Okay to Snow." So as long as I'm not driving in it, <laughs> I agree with you, Katie. So it's okay to snow. And thanks a lot. And we'll be back in a little bit. Oh.